Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Ultimate General Civil War with me, your host, Lucky Marine. And if we're going to do Cross Keys, because it's in order. So, 8th of June, Cross Keys, Union keeps sending more troops to deal with our moves through the Shenandoah Valley. <clears throat> our signal station on Massanutan. Massanutan? I suppose a lot of these were derivatives of the, uh, the Indian names. All the places around here, although there was quite a lot of stuff that was uh, that was imported by the Europeans. A lot of the uh, the names in what was old um, America, as it were, are British names. Plymouth is a, a town in on the south coast. Uh, Richmond is a very nice town actually in Yorkshire. Um, Washington. That's uh, just above Newcastle. And, um, yep. Well, there's, there's, there's loads of them. There's, loads, there's even a Carlisle. I live in a Carlisle in in England. And uh, <laughs> I once lo I was looking for Carlisle jobs uh, and found a really good one and, and applied and everything and then found out that it was Carlisle in uh, Pennsylvania, I think it is. Uh, might be up here. I don't know. But still, still. Not Portsmouth as well. Portsmouth, Lancaster. Lancaster is just down the road from us. Uh, here. Still. And you've got things like uh, Frankfurt, which is obviously Germany. Uh, you had a, a lot of, I think, Mid, mid East. Uh, Midwest. Mid East, Midwest. Uh, a lot of Germans kind of settled kind of here. But no, it's 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 like a, a patchwork quilt of European stuff. Anyway, without further ado, let's let's go for cross key, shall we? So we need to defend. Good, I do like defending. You need to keep sending troops. Yeah, 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 yeah. Army of General Fremont is marching on a Valley Pike. This looks like a terrible, terrible place to defend. Could you not have just pushed it up a little bit? Although I suppose they do have... No, because the river ends there. Does it? Does it not? What a terrible, terrible place. You could have picked that site a little easier. Let's go. Oh no. No, you do, you do get a little bit of a, a gap in the river. Fair enough. Not bad. I do want to be pushing up to this line though, if we can. Federal Brigades. Coming to line and soon we'll attack your position. Mill Creek offers a good defensive position to rebel the Yankees. Our main objective is to hold this passage. Uh, that's better. That is a lot better. Alright, we'll probably just hold these woods then. Superior forces. Well. We will see about that. We will put an end to the test. So we'll have... We'll not push out. <clears throat> we might push skirmishes to the edge of... Yeah, there's too many folding points here. We might push skirmishes out just so that we can get eyes on where they're going to assemble. Uh, if they're going to use the fighting points, or if they're going to concentrate on trying to use the bridge, but we'll just we'll just use this as a fence line. We'll probably put our cannons in these woods here. It looks like this is going to descend into madness. Let's get them as close to those we can. We'll also use this edge, Gibson and Hanson. Just in case I want to flank around the back, we'll have Swallow there, MacArthur just there. We'll put Bratton in as well. So if one comes under heavy fire, <clears throat> decides to retreat, retreat back, we've got Bratton to chuck into the uh, the breach. Oh, Preston, Preston, Gavin, used this. Down this area here. Now I don't think we're going to be using our cav. 
we'll bring them down here, we'll probably get them off the horses and we'll use them to shore up this line, I think we're going to be fairly weak down here you go with the cannons and you just go in the middle somewhere alright, pull straight away Gibson out to that edge, Hansen to that edge, just that Swallow Push you forward Along with MacArthur Brand in the rear My cannons are in here as well Kemper <clears throat> Now you want Your cannons Out in the open you see the, the bottom line of text there, damage 100%, so it'll, it'll do the maximum damage that it can. If you put it in the woods, it only does 80% of its damage. Um, for for reasons unknown, I suppose. I'm trying to... I don't know, if, if you were... If you were setting up cannons in this wood line, firing out, you'd clear a path, wouldn't you? You'd clear an arc, so that you, you could turn the cannon where you needed to turn it within this area and be clear of hitting trees and such. Uh -oh. Still. I'm going to put them in there anyway. I'm expecting people to come charging over this river and we'll canister them in, the, the canister them in their face for their, all their hard work. Let's have Gavin Preston Eustace We'll bring Forrest down, dismount him in these buildings and we'll probably distach, distach? We'll, pro we'll probably detach skirmishers from Gavin um, Depends if this gap is going to be a black hole or not. If it is, we'll they attract skirmishes and put them here so we don't get and we don't end up with uh, with people in the middle of us. <clears throat> but apart from that, on you go everybody. I'd also like you to be running. You don't need to uh, be saving your breath. Just now you can rest when you get there. Ninety-five percent cover. Ninety-seven. Eighty-two. Eighty-six. Good. And we'll put our supplies down here. Forest, got you off your horses. Preston, detach skirmishers from you, and let's just. Push them out a little bit. Use this as well. We, we can always bring the skirmishers back. We can reattach them to uh, to their units. What kind of range do you have there? Can we press you a little bit further forward? Seven. I don't know. Let's put you back a little bit further. I'm trying to get these in the cover. When you see the little house marker, you know that they're in solid cover. But oh, I don't know. Alright, Gibson. Let's get some skirmishes out from you as well. Information is everything. Let's go find out where the enemy is. <clears throat> nope, just that. We don't need you all the way up to the front. Just there will do. No one looks like they've been spotted. Could 
Could we have pushed further up? Perhaps. <clears throat> Still. 81% cover. 89. 49 isn't too good. Forrest is in 100%, but he's, he's not in, in proper uber cover. Which is weird. Mike Eustace. He gets this little foresty thing next to him because he's in cover. Skirmish is done because my cover. And Eustace is in double the cover. The Preston is. It's like it's one tree and then it's the double tree. Let's try and get Preston back a little bit. Also, let's turn off. The running. Don't need it just yet. Yankee spotted on our left. Enemy skirmish is spotted. Yep, this is fine. You been spotted. Right, go back to the unit. adapt to that thread just there apparently if you press if you press and hold shift and then you you do whatever this is then they just turn and face they don't do the whole song and dance and river dance crap Gibson still hasn't been spotted. More Union infantry spotted? Yeah. I think we're going to get a lot of that. I should be able to get at least a volley away. Is it worth it? Is it worth it for just a volley? I don't think it is. Go back to the unit. Who are you aiming at? Why are you not aiming at Milroy? Don't know. Go away quicker than that. I don't want to be engaging them here. They've still got cover on this side of the river. I want to drag them out into this open space before we hit them. I feel like this one's going to take a bit of a hammering. What weapons do you have? We should have put someone with a longer range rifle in there. Yeah. Give some would have been ideal. Still. You live and learn. <clears throat> or not, as a guess, maybe. I wonder if we can get forest in some sort of cover. Time to spring whatever this is. You need to be firing into them. I want you right in behind Swallow so that when he gets engulfed, well, we're there to give him some support. Yeah, you do need to be running.
Oh wow. I'm not surprised while I was uh, having issues here. When you to run into the flank of them, what is going on? Forest can horses, we're gonna need you. Well, this has turned into a little bit of ridiculousness. Another volley into Donnelly and then we'll turn you around into the side of Beale. Come on. You're getting flanked. How, how can we help out here? We can't, not really. All we can do is try and turn him around a little bit. Just a little bit. Just so he's not getting flanked quite so much. You into Beal. Love volley into Donnelly and we will turn. Try to get shots into Beal. You for firing into Beal as well. Let's turn them away here. Are you on your horses yet? I did say get on your horse. Oh, that's all. Back into there. Good job we put three units in here. Hello? Okay. Off to the pub across the road. It's uh it's nice living across the road to a pub. Uh well we should be able to hold this. Yeah, it's a good job we put three units in here. Um I expected to uh, to have more of a a flanking position. I expected it to get flanked a lot more than well, uh, but you know, they've just they've thrown everyone into this area here, and our cannons must have done quite a good job there. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's <laughs> that's the canister shot for you. But I mean, these people are routing, and they have turned away, but there's still a lot of people there, and that is testament to the 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 morale shock damage that the canister shot do. I need you to turn around now. I can't have I can't have MacArthur being flanked too much here. Yes. Excellent work. You're not on your horses yet. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you have to click it a few times. <clears throat> it's not annoying at all. Let's get you up this road. First, and we're going to need you up there. However, no, no. Let's be a little more aggressive. And we'll push Gavin into the side of Bolan, I think, whilst he's crossing that river. And we really need to press out. We can't relinquish this space. Um, if the enemy, if the enemy gives you space to move into, unless you're in a really good defensive position, go and take it. Keep them on the back foot. Keep them moving backwards keep the keep it rolling just so that they can't set themselves just so that they can't oh gg my other cat um just so that they can't set themselves again and we'll go try and find this artillery it looks like they've pushed the majority of their forces forward if that's the case we will make them uh, regret leaving their cannons exposed Actually, no. Let's 
go around the side, around the back even. Alright, this is working well. Let's pull Gavin back. There's no point in taking advantage of someone here, moving out of cover, taking advantage of someone who's out of cover, only to end up being a slogging match between someone who is in cover and someone who isn't. So, <clears throat> what are we doing with our horses? Well, we're trying to move them around the back of this artillery unit. Then get them on the floor. Come on. And now we're going to use our carbines. Stop. We're going to use the carbines to aggressively put fire down on these guys. Keep them running. Come on, again. The reload should be really good. It is really good. I can, I can keep running. I wonder if when those cannons fired we were stood here. I wonder if dodging cannon fire is a thing. I wonder if you you can preempt right they're about to fire. Let's start a sprint to a flank. And I wonder if you can uh, you can dodge it. I highly doubt it's coded in that way. Um but still. This is gonna descend into madness again. I want you firing into it. Hansen firing into that again, but you're blocked. Gibson, you just sit there, sit tight. Right, this is what this is what we want from uh, from our cav units. You don't want to be charging straight into cannons because they're really hard to route. Um, try charging if it's a long cannon unit. Try charge around the back of them. Get them turning. Get them doing anything but firing the cannons. Uh, don't charge head on, otherwise they'll just canister you in the face and you'll... It'll be a bad day. And then once you're around the back, get onto the floor. Get off get off your horses, get onto the floor, because cavalry are, are finicky as balls. and they, they, It's really hard to get the cone of fire of cannon, of, uh, of cavalry, sorted out. So get them on the floor, where they're easier to control. And then get them harassing. Uh, and with the carbines that the cav get, the reloading that they have, um, fire rate of 60, it by far surpasses everything that our infantry units have got. Damage is about comparable, effective range is less, but carbines, there's always less range. Um, general rule is the shorter the barrel, the, uh, the less the range, if you look at an infantry unit. Especially someone with a Lorenz, I think. Yep. I don't know if it's scaled properly, but... I don't know. Go on. And as long as we can keep these running, as long as we can keep them heading away from us, then they're not pointing their big scary barrels at our faces. Then once we finish with these guys, back on our horses, steal the supplies, do the same thing with these guys, however... These are a little bit closer to the front. We're going to have to be careful here. I'm not going to put Gibson into the side of Donnelly because there's somebody going to come through these woods. And that is them done. Back on your horses. Let's go. We know where they are. We should probably pull MacArthur just back a little bit. Alright, fall back just a little bit. Now take advantage of them as they have pushed themselves forward. Take 
advantage of Gordon. And all that line has started to move, I think, because we, we pulled MacArthur back. If you're slogging it out between two areas of cover, then if you pull further into the cover, the chances are you'll drag them out of there and uh, you'll, you'll fight. It'll be better. All right, we know where they are. You're against the side of Donnelly, actually. No, Kusha. We're firing up. Get rid of those skirmishes of Campbell pull. I think I've got cat hair in my mouse. We'll pull Gavin out. We'll try get a volley on the skirmishes, and we'll uh, we'll probably end up pulling them back fairly quickly. No. Fall back. Oh my word! This is getting really. Difficult, sorry. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to. Oops. I'm gonna have to figure this out. Is that better? Yeah, yeah, that's better. Okay. Now we'll pull Gavin back. Um, Stahel? 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 There was a lot of Prussians that ended up fighting for, or in the Prussian region of Europe that ended up fighting for the. Uh, the Union, uh, he'd start to turn to face Gavin. There's no point in taking losses there. Now we're getting on here. Right, they've turned around to try face us. Right, off your horses. Now let's charge them down. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Kemper's about to break. Swallow, let's pull you up here a little bit. Still getting his canister off. You get a volley into them as well. Yep. Superb. Don't really want this, but. Our carbines are very expensive. Let's not waste them on melee, even though we're quite good at it. And we'll, once we're back on the horses, we'll deal these supplies, get them way across the river. Right. Bratton. I'm going to pull you all the way back through the lines, seeing as though it looks like Mr. Bratton has been wounded in action. We'll push Swallow into your position. Ooh, drinks. Thank you, Rich. And we'll shore up the line with uh, Swallow. Looks like Kemper has sorted his life out. Excellent. Swallow, let's press you just a little bit further forward. MacArthur as well, let's press you just a little bit further forward just to, uh, just to give a little bit of cover to Kemper. Kemper took a little bit of hammering there. As cannons, he shouldn't be. I mean, he was in a great position, wasn't he? Is he getting on? Yeah, he's doing amazing work there. Let's get just behind the front lines. Uh, we've got Bratton out the back to, to fill in, to cover. We won't 
I won't bring him too far back actually. If things descend into melee, I want him to be able to uh, fire into it. Just in the back row. Alright, so they've decided they no longer want to play. Back on your horses. Let's take out these supplies. It's, it's a weird tactic that they've gone for here. Uh, this is an observation point. Uh, whoever owns this observation point gets to see what's around here. Now they've taken this observation point, but with a supply truck. Which is alright if you don't need the supplies, but still. It's a bit weird. Stop firing. I don't know. I don't know if the health of the truck, or the so I suppose this is the health of the truck, relates to how many supplies is there. I don't know. All right. Again, let's pull you back just a little bit. Swallow, pull you back just a little bit. I found if you you command them to fall back instead of just telling them, right, I want you to be over here instead, they don't get flanked in the rear. It, it's almost as if it's a controlled move back instead of just a flee. Again move back just enough to drag them out into uh, into the open. Did we not get this damn truck? Big losses in. You will not duke me for a third time, Mr. Supplies. I don't know where we can see this. Through wood. I suppose that this might be elevated ground. MacArthur. I mean, it's, it's twice as many kills as, as losses. But MacArthur is out on a bit of a flank here. Swallow. They're doing alright. These guys are doing alright. Uh, these guys have taken advantage of these heading to the point, and so they've got a lot of fire on two flanks um, without much in the in the wave reply. <laughs> Donnelly just had his teeth kicked in there. You can hear my cat. My cat's downstairs, shouting for some reason. Right, let's get you back across the river. Maybe not that way. How about you use the recognised ooh bridge? What about my? Go on, supplies. This way. What about my? What drink my house made made for me? Hmm. Go on, it. Kind of. It, 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 if we're going to the pub, it'll be something alcoholic. <clears throat> but. Mm -mm. It's like a chocolate Bailey's mixed with vodka and. There's some coffee in there as well. Go on, it. Now I don't really, I don't really want to use these people. 
This is me saving money. This is me saving money. This is me saving manpower. And this is these guys. Uh, two star, one star, one star, one star. Two star, two star. Yeah, this is, uh, this, these guys are getting a huge amount of, uh, of experience from this. Alright, let's just get on the observation point. Actually, no, I think there's more cannons up here. Let's go have a look for them. Fairly certain they're up here. There we go. Let's try to get around the back. <clears throat> Chances are cultists will get involved, but if we can keep these cannons spinning around, right round, baby, right round, 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 then uh, they're not firing at our mates. It's a weird thing that um, people say, oh, you, you fight for your. I don't know, whatever you believe in, your religion, your, your country, your, the queen or whatever. Not really. Not really. You just you just fight for the mates that are around you. Nothing else. I mean, you've got certain objectives and you swear allegiance to whoever you swear allegiance to, whatever forces you're in. But when the shit is the fan, hmm, it's about if your mates are safe. The ones that you fight with, the ones, ones that you've gone through training with. Like that. That's what counts. All right, we could do with drawing stable out just a little bit. So pull you back and you as well. Let's leave space for Mark Ember's taking losses. But look at those kills. It's not so much the kills either. <clears throat> I keep saying it, and I, I will probably continue to say it always, but. It's the morale damage. We will get an initial shot on with Forest. If we can get through the cornfield. And then it looks like we're going to have to get ourselves away. Oh, no. Knowles has decided to charge in. Alright. We'll go there. And then we'll get off the horses. horses. And do our usual tactic of harassing them to the point where they properly rout. Ooh. Were they waiting for Bratton to exit? Yeah, canister's gonna open up here. Kemper's gonna get a load of kills. Let's see how much. <clears throat> a uh a canister fire into melee next year in terms of kills. So fourteen twenty three right now. Gamper, you in melee? Looks like he just ended up in a bit of melee there. Yeah, about a hundred kills. Oh that yeah that'll do it. I don't like this. I don't like these guys getting dragged out of position. Come on. Let's keep them going. Let's, let's keep these routing. Put you into the side of whoever that is. Let's push Bratton into your position. Swallow, I need you to about face a little bit. You've got yourself a little bit skewed there. Let's put you in the rear. Both of these guys have men that... Both of these guys have leaders that have been wounded in action, but I think the fact that we are right next to them um, is enough to keep the, the morale high enough 
that they don't just decide to uh, to exit the building. Right. On your horses, let's go. No, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go quicker than this. Come on, Forest. You've got expensive rifles, I can't relinquish them here. Exhausted? How are your horses exhausted? Well, we, we took their cannons away from them. Uh, we m might be able to take the supplies. They're lining up for another shot. We're going to lose about 30 people here. Go on, get out of range, get out of range. Bollocks. Didn't want that. Horses. I don't know what this ground is. Speed 60%. Alright, yeah, fair enough. It doesn't look like a marsh, but... Oh well. Let's just get away from them. Ranton. Let you get that volley off. And then we'll pull you back. To this position just there. How are you getting on? 1600 kills. Amazing. Let's see if we can snaffle the supplies. We're still not into the river here. <clears throat> we'll still have a little bit of cover. Coats is coming back. The supply wagon was heading up here. If it's a hard stop to this, then we'll, we'll try and snap all the supplies. There we go, victory, done. So, comparable numbers, but they were attacking into us, uh, and we had a really good defensive position. Uh, there was a few of our units down here that we didn't even use, which means that we've retained the weapons that we've got, we'd have to buy them again. We've retained the men, we'd have to buy them again. <clears throat> they probably lacked a little bit in terms of experience, but the experience they've missed out on, these guys have picked up, so. Swings around about. Oh, Gibson did a load. Where, where was Gibson? I think Gibson was up here. Gibson and Hansen. Yep. In terms of the losses that they incurred, they did amazingly well. Kemper. Again. Said it before. Say it again. The amount of uh, morale damage, the amount of shock damage that Kemper did. Just being able to turn away huge swathes of uh, of units was magical to see. MacArthur and Brand both wounded, but neither are dead. 
tis but a flesh wound. Supplies, yep. Captured a few Lorenz, which is nice. We do use them. Mississippi, we re rescued quite a few. Thankfully, we picked up a lot of uh, Enfield that Forrester dropped. Only 48 of them, though. We'll get us up back up to about 400 strong. Not bad. Not bad at all. Did alright, though. But again, it was a defensive fight. As long as you're set up properly in a defensive fight, as long as you know where the enemy is, as long as you counter whatever they're going to do, you should always win your defensive fights. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be it for this episode. I will probably grab... It's probably about time. We start getting a discount on veteran. No, Pothic. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to leave this for, I'll, I'll do this in between the episodes, um, and I will see you after I've been to the pub. I've been looking green, as always, you look, have been amazing, join me next time for um, probably Drunken Port Republic, it's it's going to be fun, um, we'll, we'll see how I get on, until then, do take care.